Hey, good morning. It's Mark Shepard, and you have arrived at The Morning Cryptos for Tuesday, August 15th. It is the 16th day of my challenge. I'm doing a 90-day challenge to try to figure out what works, how to make money grow, and how to really explore this whole new world of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dash, all of these, uh, uh, I'm calling them the Crypto Crank programs like Ambus and Microhash and some of the ones that we're not sure if they're going to be in business but can be used as tools. Um, and I will do another video about those. But today, if you've been following me for a little bit and thank all of you for have thank all of you for have been following me. <laughs> thank all of you for following me. The coffee will hit soon, I'm sure. Uh, I really appreciate um, you guys you know, subscribing, and, and some of you have been using the affiliate codes below the videos, and uh, I got a little group of friends doing this. It's it's the most fun I've had in a long time, and it's it's kind of cool. It's like a it's like a video game, or a it's like The Sims or something. I don't know where, but you actually get the money. You know, it's not just pretend money. It's not just having some video game character that begins to collect assets, you know, in your game. This is like a real game, and you can really collect assets. And some of these things may disappear. So again, we have to be um, aware and to only play with money that we can survive if we lose. Okay, so that's that's the, the constant disclaimer that I will give to you as well as to myself. If I wake up tomorrow and um, all those programs are gone, or some of them were gone, you know, it's still been a lot of fun. But here we are, we're looking at Bitcoin. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys that kept texting me and saying, oh, I gotta get some Bitcoin, it's going up like crazy. Well, it comes back. You see, it will push and then it will retreat. Do you see any any pattern on Bitcoin? Like you could, you could just keep grinding past and and you could look at the past, and you will always see pushes and retracements. Okay, so here we have, it went all the way up to 44, but now it's back to 4,000. And if you think it's not going to go back to 44, you're, you're just being sad. Because it's going to go back to 4,400. It's going to go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go up to probably 50,000 at some point, right? But the beauty of this, this is the spiritual practice. You are focused right on here, right now, and what it's doing. And to me, that's kind of cool. I'll make this a little bigger. Anyway. Okay, so let's do it. Grinding through. Bitcoin. It has come back. Da, da, da. Look at that. There on the one hours, there's a nice little place you could get in if you wanted to get yourself some Bitcoin. See the support? draw this line um, well let's just draw a line to the support right I find it helpful to draw these lines at the bottom you know from from kind of the farthest part of the chart and then I like to draw a line on the top sometimes to see what what's going on here let's see if any of these line up right so it seems like there's a window for expansion right there. So I don't think Bitcoin's um, going to be out of business tomorrow. I think it's going to be around. I don't think it's a scam, and I don't think it's a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> I love my girlfriend, you know. And when I first told her I was into Bitcoin, she sent me an article from, I don't know, I think the Washington Post from five years ago. It was saying that Bitcoin was a, a Ponzi scheme, right? And the bottom line is, Ponzi schemes actually work for a while. <laughs> if Bernie Madoff had actually invested the money he was taking from his uh, investors and put it into Bitcoin, he wouldn't be in jail today. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> However, please, 
do not leave this to someone else. You know, this is too important. Your financial life is too important to leave to some expert. You have to become the expert, right? That's what I'm doing. I, I have traditionally repeated a hypnotic mantra all my life. Oh, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at money. You know, I'm not good at money. I'm not good at math. And it's pretty clear I'm not very good at math as far as doing it in my head. But with a calculator, I can pretty much keep up. You know, I get the concepts. It's just for some reason, numbers don't stick in my head, right? But I have copy and paste, right? They're tools. So there's no excuse, you know, and uh, Bitcoin is not going to stop right? It's going to grow. It's going to get better and better. They will improve the network. They will have challenges. And um, that's it for Bitcoin today. And this is what I do throughout the day. I just take a quick, a quick peek, a quick pick, a quick peek. And let's go to Ethereum. I bought a little Ethereum yesterday. And I just find when I buy a little, it really, uh, focuses me like I'm interested in it you know the ones that I haven't bought any of I'm like I don't know what they're doing I don't pay any attention right and uh, sorry my internet seems to be slow or gold price seems to be slow mm. all right so we had a little boost um, I think I bought here yesterday so uh, the Ethereum I bought is now worth a little less right but again, we see these little stair steps, and my prediction is that it's gonna, it's gonna rise. Let's let's look at the one hours. This would be a good time to get into Ethereum. Again, do you see the difference in your emotions if you look at something that's not cranking up? That that looks like oh yeah, it's like. And here on the one minutes, we have a nice sideways range, right? So it, it has some highs here in these last minutes, right, of trading. And it's got some lows. And right now, Ethereum is at the bottom of its one minute trading range, right? Again, this is how I time stuff. If I see that, I go, oh, I need to get some Ethereum. I can get it then, boom. But I have I, I got 250 bucks worth of it yesterday, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put any more in at the moment because I I want to really aggressively grow my money at the same time that I do some kind of intelligent long term planning. Uh, good. So Ethereum, I'm I'm liking it. I think we are definitely gonna test this 400 range in the next week or so, and we'll see. That's why I like making these videos because I can look back and go, well, I called that. Or I was totally wrong. You know, either way, it's it's a lot of fun. So, um, okay, let's go to boo -doo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo Dash. I'm in love. I'm in love with a thing called Dash. Dash your hopes. Dash to your dreams. See, here's one thing about Dash. Genesis Mining is sold out of their Dash mining contracts, right? What does that mean to you? That means that there's, 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 a, there's a market. And here again, Dash, good place to get in today. We have, as I've been talking about, we have this triple top. Um, we got a triple top, one, two, three. It's actually, you could call this a top and this a top. So it's one, two, three, four, five tops. And again, that's there's some pressure holding that. And like Litecoin has a similar pattern. Um, we'll do that next. But there's like something's holding it down. Right? And when Bitcoin was doing this, it was the hard fork that was going on. And now that, that seems to be resolved, the pressure's off and the pressure from beneath is pushing. Right? So Dash has a lot of pressure from beneath. This is one of my long range. I think Dash is gonna, at some point, Dash might even replace Bitcoin. It's it's real. It's a really good currency, and they've got a, they're fast. The network is fast because they've come into the blockchain sphere after Bitcoin, and they've been able to set their whole thing up so that it doesn't have some of the problems that Bitcoin had 
you know, out of the gate. But Bitcoin got here first, right? So that's the question. Whether is Bitcoin going to be an AOL <laughs> or a MySpace? Or is it going to be a Facebook on Amazon? You know, it's probably going to be a Facebook or an Amazon <laughs> Bitcoin. Particularly if, you know, there's so many Bitcoin miners all over the world. It is the world's largest supercomputer, right? So it's it's not going anywhere soon. However, Dash, Dash has the potential, right? I like it. And uh, so I'm going to hang on. We'll see where we are next week with the uh, the dash that I have in my wallet and see how it's doing. And it, and if it looks like it's just stalled, I may, you know, I may swap it out for some other stuff. But um, what I like about it is I know that dash will still be here tomorrow when I come check. Right. Uh, that's what we hope. All right. So let's do the one hours on dash. Okay, good time to get in. When they're down like that, on the one hours, the 30 minutes, and the one minutes, it's at the bottom of its trading range as well. Okay, and so you can see the, if you look at this, there's gotta be trading bots doing this, right? Because somebody's trading minute to minute, right? Someone's buying and selling. These are all the buys and sells, right? And it's, uh, it's a little less, thick than Bitcoin as far as, you know, if you look down here, there's, there's less volume, but that's going to change. Keep an eye on that. I don't know much about this thing at the bottom here. I have to do some research and find out more about that, but um, I'm liking Dash, people. All right. Said it yesterday. I'll probably say it tomorrow, but you need to... You need to watch these, uh, the daily cryptos, because I do, you know, this is my first moment of the day. These are the thoughts I'm thinking when I'm just kind of, uh, as a hypnotherapist, as a hypnotist, as a student of the human mind, kind of the first things you think about in the morning set the tone for your day, right? And if the first thing you think about in the morning is your prosperity and what how you're working on your plan for abundance, wealth, happiness, well-being, and all that kind of stuff. That's what you're going to work on. So Litecoin took a little bit of a dip here. And, you know, this is this is where sometimes people get scared. They, they buy, let's say I bought up here at 45, and now it's down to 42. Oh, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, no, what did I do? Oh, my God. I'm just going to lose it all. I'm going to lose it all. I don't know what to do. My mom was right. Right. Um, and that's, that's your hypnosis. And you got to, you got to manage your emotions with this stuff. Right. And not be a victim. We have to stop at the victim thinking. So all we have is essentially a bottom. Right. And it's just tested the support. Right. And it didn't even go all the way to where the support is. So that's to me a good sign, right? And uh, and again, it's a sideways, it's almost like a little, kind of a little shoot here, right? Is it, if it, it's a little bit of a price intensity, it's gonna pop. But the main, what's the main trend? What's the long-term trend? It is up. Look at the support all the way. We have some spikes, but on the bottoms, right? And, uh, or I could move this line here to this support, right? And I can move this line. It's just kind of these lines don't do anything other than help to kind of focus your eye a little bit. You know, I see it in a really sweet upward trading range, so there's time to get in, right? And it's a small enough investment, so you can you can take 50 bucks, right? And get into Litecoin. Go to, you know, go to Coinbase Exchange. Use my link. You'll get 10 bucks of Bitcoin. So you'll have $10 of Bitcoin. That'll make you focus on Bitcoin. And then get 50 bucks of Litecoin, Right? Or 50 bucks of Litecoin, 50 bucks of Bitcoin, 50 bucks of Ethereum. 
just so you kind of have a little skin in the game and and just start paying attention. That's it. And then from there, you know, as it grows, as you learn, then you can start cranking it if you want, right? That's what I'm doing, and we'll see. I'm in day 16. That's Litecoin. Let's do the one hours, and it's kind of coming back from this one hours from this low. And probably somebody started taking profits or whatever. On the 30 minutes, it is it's making a it's making a little bit of a comeback. And uh, the one minutes, you know, and this is volatile stuff, people. We don't know. This is this is not you going to your bank and getting one percent interest every day. But the bottom line is we don't know if our banks are gonna be there if there's another economic collapse, right? So this this is a revolution, you're in it. Welcome to the revolution. Oh, and by the way, uh, I did a little a little quickie video yesterday of my song Freedom, which is my theme song. You'll hear you hear the the music of freedom at the beginning of all of my videos at the end of my videos, my intro and extra. And uh, I just I was able to grab some uh, Commons uh, video footage, and I, I downloaded a little stock footage that didn't cost too much. Um, <laughs> of a Bitcoin miner. Uh, so uh, check out my video, my music video, and uh, and I think you'll enjoy it. It's like I'm calling it the Bitcoin theme song, and I'm calling it uh, Mark Shepard and the Crypto Crankers. That's my band. I normally call my band the Rogue Mystics, but uh, today they're the Crypto Crankers. So uh, have an awesome day. Enjoy that. Uh, I may do some other videos, or I may just work on some other stuff today. I have a new CD that's coming out soon, and I, I need to get that together. And um, I think the master might show up in the mail today. Um, and uh, I really appreciate you guys. And this has been a wonderful, wonderful way to spend my morning, my first sip of coffee. Meditating on prosperity. And I think it's a good thing. I think you're awesome. Peace, grooviness, over and out. This has been The Morning Cryptos. My name is Mark Shepard, and this is the Hypnosis of Money 90-Day Challenge. Over and out for now. Talk to you in the next one. Peace. Peace.